Jazz friends, how in the world are you? I'm Tom Manuel, the founder and director of the Jazz Loft in Stony Brook, here in wonderful New York, the East Coast's only space museum, performance, preservation, education venue dedicated solely to the American born art form called jazz. I'm so glad that you could join us again for this wonderful weekly series we have called Behind the Scenes. And I am sitting here in the wonderful archives of our main room of the Jazz Loft in the Lloyd Trotman exhibit. And this bass that you see next to me is actually the bass that played that iconic bass line on the tune you were listening to, Benny King's Stand By Me. You know, a lot of people here at the Loft think that all of this, all the collections and archives we have were purchased or collected, but Truth be told, many of these people were my dear friends who I had the wonderful opportunity to share the stage with and perform with. And Lloyd was a good friend of mine, although he was quite well into retirement by the time we met. I was able to bring him in to work with my students and do workshops and clinics quite often. And we did get to share some incredible moments at some great performances together. I spent a lot of time at Lloyd's house and a little interesting story I want to share with you. You know, Lloyd was playing with the likes of the great Billie Holiday. He was in the Duke Ellington Orchestra. He was really on top of the world. He had come to New York from Boston where his father ran a music school. And Lloyd met a woman who caught his eye. Her name was Gertrude. He fell in love and he wanted nothing more than to settle down and build a house for her out in the country. Well, let me tell you, Back in the day, the country was Huntington. That's about as far as you had to go out here on Long Island. And Lloyd built this beautiful house for her. And I remember a story he told me about being really scared of the whole time of his life. And I said to him in response, I said, you know, Lloyd, I think I'd be scared too. That's, that's a big commitment, settling down, getting married, having kids. And he laughed and he looked at me, he said, man, I wasn't scared of getting married and settled down. He said. I was scared because in town, and he meant the city, it cost a nickel to make a phone call. So if someone was calling you for a gig, it cost five cents. He said to call all the way out to Long Island, it cost a dime. He said, I was scared people weren't gonna call me for gigs anymore. I said, well, did they call you for gigs? He said, oh yeah, they called me for gigs. <laughs> Lloyd was a great guy. He took a big risk going from playing all the clubs, being on the road with guys like Duke Ellington and Billy Holiday to what was a very steady gig with a regular weekly paycheck. The young man that approached him with the opportunity for that was starting a brand new record label that was completely unknown at the time, but Lloyd took a good risk. Even though his friends told him he was crazy to give up all the gigs he was doing, that gig wound up being in the house band with a little record label called Atlantic Records. He appeared on all the early Atlantic projects, including Ray Charles, The Drifters, The Platters, Dinah Washington, and so many others. He even recorded an album with the great Cassius Clay. Lloyd's career spanned nearly five decades, and he really has a wonderful history of music to show for it. So please come visit the Jazz Loft. Check out the Lloyd Trotman exhibits, see his bass, see his music, see photographs, see albums, and all sorts of great stuff. I want to thank you so much for sharing this moment with me, and thank you for checking out Behind the Scenes. I want to also remind you, please, if you're able, come join the band and support your arts organizations, not just the Jazz Loft, but other not-for-profits that need you now more than ever. If you're so inclined here at the Jazz Loft, we have a wonderful fund we've established for jazz musicians that are in dire need of financial support. Our first round of support just went out and we were able to send checks to 15 jazz musicians that needed our help. Those funds were all given by patrons like you. So thank you so much. Please remember what the great Duke Ellington said, that a problem is always a chance for you to do your best. We hope to see you next week for another episode of Behind the Scenes. Till then, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.